So the Charlotte Micro Police Department, Metro Division specifically, we responded to several victims being reported to be victims of gunshot wounds. Officers responded towards Dundee, Gilbert, and Holly Street. Located an additional victim that arrived at the hospital. Uh, officers were able to track down and locate incident location occurred at Holly Street. Here we are about the 2000 block. Appears at this time, based on the preliminary investigation, that the victims and the suspects are all known to each other. We do not know, and at this moment, we do not believe that there are anybody that is outstanding or anybody that we're unaware of. It seems to be that everyone that's involved is known to each other at this moment. There's no signs or indications that there's anything related to uh, the, the rest of the neighborhood and the community at large. How many victims do we have right now? At the moment, there are five victims that we know of. Uh, all have, uh, a couple have serious, but not life threatening. There's no one at this time that has any life threatening. Injuries, the hospital has done a good job. Medic and our partners, Medic and CFD, did a good job treating and getting everyone to the hospital. At the moment, uh, we do not know of any additional victims. Suspects at the time? There are suspects, obviously. They, we are obviously not going to be able to release that information. We're still very uh, into the, the basic investigation procedure as far as locations, who's involved, what happened. And, and just right now, it's just the basics that we're investigating. All of this occur at the same spot, basically. Can you sort of walk us through the circumstances? Right. So obviously, the detectives are still working through that, talking to anybody and everybody that can, they can find, any witnesses, any neighbors. Uh, at this moment, it appears that subjects known to each other got into some kind of altercation that was led to a shooting. Uh, multiple shots fired. We don't have additional information we can release at this time. Certainly, anybody that has additional information that they can call Crime Stoppers at 704 364 1600. That would be extremely helpful, and we'll take all the help we can get. But at this moment, we're in the basic levels of the investigation. Are you looking for multiple shooters? Is there any of the victims return fire or anything like that? Right, so there are, there is going to be more than one shooter at this time. Can, we're still working through the investigation as to who was the victim or the suspect, or we have more than one uh, shooter involved as far as whether there was shots that were returned in, in uh, protection. However, at, at this time, the, the detectives are still interviewing subjects, still interviewing witnesses. Thankfully, we do not have any victims that are in a life-threatening status at this time. Uh, 
there were multiple firearms that were used at the scene, but at this moment we're not going to release as to what type of weapons were used. I saw multiple uh, cases markings on the ground. Mm-hmm. And you know, I don't have the exact number. I do know that there's a large number of rounds that were fired. However, fortunately, thankfully, at this moment, there's no one else that we are looking for. What was the threat? There, there's a lot that the Texans are still trying to sort out and then talking to everybody. We don't know the specifics, and, if, and those specifics aren't anything that we could release at this time if we do have it. I guess what I'm getting at, were there any other civilians who were anywhere close to this? There, certainly, any kind of shooting that happens, the threat is to all of the public, all of the neighborhood. It's an extreme fear for us and certainly for the neighborhood. Anyone can become a victim. We never know where those rounds are going to go. Thankfully, at this time, we don't know that there's anybody else that was hit other than the parties that were all involved. Talk to me about responding to a situation like this in which you have, you know, three or four distinct kind of scenes that you're working with. What does that do to your job? So, obviously, any situation is going to be extremely stressful. The officers, medic, our partners with the fire department, everyone did an exceptional job getting what information they had. Our communicators get that information out as quickly as possible. Certainly anybody who can call 911 and get that information to us, we can sort through it that much quicker and then get it, get those resources there to preserve life, preserve the, and protect the crime scene and identify who our suspects are and make sure the scene's safe for the public. Are you able to release if all the shooting occurred at one scene and then victims then spread out or if it occurred at multiple locations? Correct. So we located several victims at different locations. At this moment, it all appears to have occurred at this incident, incident location on Holly Street. You heard possibly a one-year-old was raised by a bullet? There's uh, several juveniles that were involved. Uh, the, the, the age won't be released of the child. Fortunately and thankfully, the child is going to be in a non-life-threatening uh, status and has been treated and it's going to be released from the hospital. All right, thank you everyone. As Captain Veith said, this is very early on in the investigation. As additional information comes out, we'll be sure to release it to you.